It's time for the GizWiz with Matt's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1979, recorded Thursday, March 14th, 2024. Able to label. On this episode of the GizWiz, Dick D. has not one, but two. What the heck is it? It's a brand new laptop, and I have another home office gadget that may just stick around. All next on The Giz Wiz! It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Wiz now. Now! now. And here he is, the whiz of Giz, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. It's been a busy Excellent. week, but very good. Very good. Oh, good, good. Yes. Yeah, I was to the Spring Fling Toy Insider Ooh. event today. Yeah, I got uh, three videos for next week's show. I just got back like uh, an hour ago. Um, so how many springs too. did you fling? Was there a spring flinging competition? No, I oh. wish there was. It was also, it was packed with kids. Now, why they would let kids into a toy event? Yeah. Um, Preposterous. What, what were they thinking? Excuse what? me, I think we should go back to the days of the dress code where the monocle and the cane <laughs> is required at every yeah. toy event. That's mm -hmm. very funny. Mm -hmm. Also, there was something. It was so funny. It was. It was like something from a comedy sketch. Instead of having a food table, they had waiters walking around with the food. Oh, and, like hors d'oeuvres. Yes, exactly. You know, mini pizzas, mini tacos, um, and we're waiting for the food. And every time I would start a video, someone would come by with a full tray of food. <laughs> Three times that happened. And then when I'm done, just in time to see the waiter leave with an empty tray of food. I said to Dennis, what is, is someone filming this? Uh, that anyway. is funny. That could yeah. be an actual Saturday Night Live sketch. Yes, is, yes, I think it can. And if we see a wandering dick's eye during the... <laughs> yes. Hi, yes, we're here yes, with, and then yes. you see. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, exactly. You know what down. it is. You'll know exactly what it is. It's a taco going <laughs> yes. Away, yes. out of reach. And so, is that a taco? I mean, an LED light? <laughs> Are you? Yes. Is that is that Wagyu? I mean, um, RGB is that was my question. Yeah. Um, and what did you do that was so exciting? Uh, well, I'm getting ready to head off to a wedding. So I had to cram a whole bunch of work in doing, uh, I spent uh, a while down at the parks. I was able to like get three recording, three topics done in one day. Oh, 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 the park, Disneyland. Yes, park, yes, park? yeah. Yeah, oh, great. Great. Yes, it's t it's uh, we're getting into springtime, so lots of Easter things, and then we also have some St. Patrick's Day things as well. So that's uh, and so, so uh, you, you're making videos for within the park. Yeah. So the idea oh. is kind of it's half of almost like a uh, Johnny Jet kind of tips and travel techniques. And also the newest thing that's happening at the parks for diehard fans. So it's a little oh, bit of that. Oh. And then it's a little bit of also just what my experience was that day. So a little bit of my personality oh. thrown in there. Just what, you know, I'm doing, what, I, what my take on this is, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and so I do a lot. I try to do a lot of the newest things. It's like, oh, this only just started being available two days ago. You know, that's oh, thing. this is great. And then, and then, and great. typically, like with St. Patrick's Day, right? It's only available for a month. Um, and so it's you know a little specialty treat. The shillelagh ride is that <laughs> exactly <laughs> the uh, the once in a lifetime drunken mile run um, for a oh, Disney sponsored uh, never to be repeated. No, I'm just joking. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm no. joking, joking. Uh, oh, that sounds great. That uh, yeah. Sounds great. So um, 
So yeah. Oh, so, someone's so, asking if they can see them. Are they up anywhere? Yeah. Uh, you search for OMG Chad IRL if you're interested. OMG Chad IRL, like okay. in real life. If oh you're, wow. If you're interested. IRL. Wow. Um, sounds yeah. great. And these are all on YouTube. So yeah. So sounds just got done great. with a whirlwind of recordings so that I would have some content and um, uh, and just cramming. Also, I'm still you know the this set moved. Th- Three weeks ago now? This is the third episode yeah, three, with the new, the third, the new set. Yep, third show I made sure set. to stagger my move this time. So <laughs> I had it in blocks. And so this is the last week of that too. This is all the all the thing all the last little bits of the move um, are being wrapped up this week. So that was the other thing that kinda made wow. this a busy, busy bee week. Um, excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, with that, I let's jump in. You got to tell me about this. What the tech is it <laughs> that I've I've been seeing in this email? What the tech is it? Yeah. What the well, heck? Okay. See, is what see the tech? Guess, it, it's sort of tech. See if you can guess. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Another. What the heck is it? Our one contestant, constant contestant, Dennis Wonderland. Oh. What the heck? Is it? Oh, is it electronic what? football? Uh, uh, oh, a, good, guess. Kind of good guess. It does sort of look. It looks like very it. much like a football. Um, it does. Does this help at all? Is it a oh, key? Yeah. It's an electronic football with a cable. <laughs> is a it cable. a light? Uh, is it they a... come in pairs? Does that matter? Pairs. You when you buy them, you get two of them. You mean like twins? Yeah. They are yeah. ear warmers, okay. electric ear uh, warmers. This might That's very close. Oh. 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 Are they electronic football warmers. Hand warmers. They, it's a hand warmer. <laughs> now, you're probably saying, why are you doing a hand warmer now when <laughs> spring is coming? And there is a good reason, okay? I bought this kit back in December, and I charged one because I only saw one charging cable. Uh, and used it and liked it, and I thought, I'll do it on the show. And then I couldn't find the other one. And then three days ago, I found the other one, and you know what's next. I couldn't find the first (laughs) one. (laughs) So now I have the two of them together. And And it's been a month. When I was taking the cable out. two months. This is very clever. I wish I'd realized this at the beginning. Is that you get oh. one cable to charge both? Oh, oh the one hand cable hand. wrapped up. All right, a couple of things I like about these. Uh, first, they're USB C. Second of all, they are slim, they fit inside a glove. Oh. They are. Very clever with the LEDs, okay? You hold it down, and a little one that's low, medium. Is it going to I medium? I should have just clicked it. Let's see, the low came on, then medium, then high. Aha. When you charge it, these turn blue. And then one blue is a third charge, two blue is two thirds. Three blue steady is it's fully charged. They heat up very, very quickly. And the reason that this is a great time to do them is <laughs> shoes. <laughs> when I first got them, I thought, do they, these things glow? But they don't. Um, but you wouldn't want them to glow because you, you want all the power to go uh, well, you into, wouldn't see it either in, into the hand warmer and you wouldn't see it um, the reason that it's great I'm showing them is I guess they're closing them out because it's the end of the season but they are nine dollars okay they were originally I think 26 bucks only 31 ratings uh, four and a half stars and it's a nice battery it's a 4,000 milliamp battery with three heat settings and 12 hours of heat on low. I mean, who's going to need these? Great for stadiums. 12 hours in a row. Right, for football uh, games. Yeah, football game. So I think these are really great. They're unbranded. Oh, Odofo. Odofo. O-D-U-F-O. Odofo. 
copyright. Uh, hand warmers. So I think these are really <laughs> neat. Right. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> yeah. When you said a pair, I was definitely thinking a pair of, you know, a pair of earmuffs. Oh, pair, yeah. 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 But that's uh, great. That is. Yeah. Uh, they buy them now for, for the holidays for, for nine bucks. Yeah. Like I said, I, I think I paid 24 or something for them. So, and they're nice. I, I'm. Uh, I think that this would be great. Oh, if they you're went up a little. Gonna no, go no, out on yeah, a ski $10. trip, like uh, especially if you're gonna be needing hand warmers day after day, like a camping trip, that type of thing. Right. Perfect. Absolutely. Oh, you know what, Chad? You're not signed in, right? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. look, okay. here it is. It says if, if you, join if you Amazon Prime. It comes up. Oh, right yeah. There. I was just gonna say a minute ago. I thought. When I showed it, it was eight ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're a Prime member, it's eight ninety nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the colors too. If you have a whole family, you can uh, give everybody a different color, and then they know who lost their hand warmers. Oh, that's a great idea. That's excellent. You know, that's excellent. Yeah. You can find my hand well, warmers. Well, yeah. I should clear yeah. up. Four thousand milliamp is for the two of them, but it's very clever. They have a little latch in the back. So if you just want one hand warmer, you can slide them and lock them together and make one hand warmer. So it's very well worked out. Very well worked That's out. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, how could it get better than that? Well, you'll see. Oh, <laughs> you Within my next video. Land, okay. This is the you normally see all the mad stuff. So this is where we do the show from. Okay. And. This is the setup I have over here. Is so, I have a laptop here uh, with the screen on here. Normally, I put the chat room here, and when we're doing the show, the chat room is up here. I shoot this screen up to this screen, and then this screen is down there. Uh, and I wanted to make the same setup over here, so I got a laptop and a stand for the laptop. And then since the laptop was standing up and I needed a keyboard, I was going to get another external keyboard. So this keyboard is actually for this computer. And then, out of the blue, I got an email from Asus PR saying, we introduced a new laptop, uh, the ZenBook, at CES 2024, and we had some demo units, if you'd like to try one. And I said, yeah, this would be great. So this is it. Okay. The Zen book. Uh -uh. It's All right. And Ooh, very number pretty. One, I don't have to use this stand now because of this. Whoa. Get out of here. This is a built-in stand in the back. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, wow. So I can put the stand here. All right, that's good. Now Whoa. I have a monitor there. And now I don't have to buy an external keyboard uh, 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 because what? this keyboard comes off. So now I have two screens. And there's I a hidden an screen keyboard. under the keyboard. What? It's back what? To see because we, if you can see from the side, yeah, can you see that that's lit? Mm -hmm. And the keyboard so is lit. So I have my whole system set up here. And I haven't even unpacked this yet. Uh, but it's a touch screen. And it also comes with the Asus uh, 2.0 pen. We'll go to the uh, Asus website and take a look at it. Our 2024 ZenBook Duo is a slim and light ultra portable that transforms into a multi-monitor laptop straight out of a sci-fi movie and back into a slim and light ultra portable within seconds. And the best part? At $14.99 it costs about the same as a regular laptop. That's right, our ZenBook Duo has even more screen space than last year's model, two full-size 14-inch displays, a better keyboard, better touchpad, it's thinner, several hundred grams lighter, and actually costs less. Having two displays also means you can share one of them with somebody else. You can put it flat on the table and use your ZenBook Duo like a regular ultra portable, while the other person on the other side watches a movie, for example. This can be a lifesaver if you have kids around. 
there is a full-size HDMI 2.1 port as well as two fully spec'd out Thunderbolt 4 ports. That means the ZenBook 2 can power the latest TVs and monitors with up to 4K 120Hz and even that future 8K 60Hz TV you probably dream about. Both Type-C ports support the highest USB data rate and both can power and charge the laptop. To top it all up, there is a 3.5mm audio jack and a good old full-size USB Type-A port that still comes in handy quite often. So I yeah. love the color on these two 3K screens and we'll end with that. Ooh. Holy moly. Yeah, you know, fifteen fourteen ninety nine seems <laughs> they're <Not that> they're <laughs> eighteen eighty by I forgot yeah you know, it's whatever three K is eighteen eighty by um For, uh, uh, what is it eighteen eighty uh, by I'm not even sure. Um, yeah. Anyway. Wow. I when, I did not realize that it had two screens and it was. A I know. I didn't. I didn't call it the duo at first because I. <laughs> when you take. And you set it up off. like that. I was like, oh, that is so interesting. I'm surprised it sits like that. And then it all made sense when the keyboard came down. That was like. Yeah. That was a crazy, crazy. Uh, Moment. I was just like, yeah, holy cow. So it's the Ultra 7 chip. They made the two models. The 1499 has the Ultra 7. Uh, it has uh, Intel Arc graphics, Intel uh, AI boost, whatever that is, Wi Fi 6. Um, and then they also make it uh, with it uh, the 9 chip. Oh, and it's a one terabyte solid state uh, memory and I think it was 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's really pretty neat. It's kind of incredible. I'm, uh, I found, it, uh, it looks like Did you find it's on Amazon. It just went up in a couple of days ago. I, I hope that I found the, the correct one. Uh, um, no, do you have my link? Because it's the duo. You have the Zen book. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. I think I have the Pro Duo here. This may not be the right one. Cause no, it's not. It looks different. Because that doesn't that doesn't have the second screen. Right. Uh, yeah, your link doesn't. It, it takes doesn't me to there? a little dog. Oh, pff, it's working all of a sudden. There it goes. Oh, I just there had to go. click yeah. it another oh. time. Um, okay. Wow. Oh, there it is. So 16 gigabytes of RAM. A uh, terabyte of uh, solid state drive, Windows 11, uh, oh, OL, like color. yeah, o, uh, OLED screens, and then I think the other one is 200 bucks more. The yeah, the Ultra Core 9. Looks like it's is, out of stock. Oh, over you know, here. you know what? It may not be out yet. Yeah. Wow. That is really, really impressive. Also, I really like that it has a USB-A port on it. Yes, yes, you need that. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things where you go, well, I don't have a new one of those. No, nope. Or, or oh, great, I need to buy another one of those. Or I need to buy that specialty cable that will arrive in three days <laughs> Ugh, to get the USB-C version of that cable. No fun. Um, that is really a crazy laptop, like yeah. absolutely insane. Um, very cool, very, very cool. Excellent, excellent. What um, do you got for us next? Uh, we have one more. What the heck is it? Ooh. One of the things that's a big deal on this show. What the heck is it? Uh, uh, uh. Dennis? What? What the heck is it? it? Looks like a bell you'd press to get into it. A towards. bell, oh, and I'll yeah. show you the back. I have to call like a the hockey label. Puck? Oh, no. This, this like change that. it when you see oh, the back. I know what it is. It's a jar opener. Oh, a jar opener. It looks that's like a an very ashtray. Good guess. Very, very wrong. Oh, ashtray. <laughs> that's a good wrong guess. <laughs> it is. I'll give you one more shot at it. It's sold like this. Oh. Like that. 
Breast protectors. Breast protectors. Are they are they can umbrellas can umbrellas again. for okay. your soda can? They are. No, but that's uh, a good guess. Um, I have to open it to show Ashtray, you. Ashtray, no. Nope. They are cord wrappers. Oh! Okay, cord wrappers. Now we've done, we did like a straight one, oh, last year. And this is what it's for. So I have my humidifier here. As soon as it, the weather gets warm, I can stop using my humidifier. But what's annoying about putting the humidifier away is that the cord, you know, I wrap it around the top. It always falls off. Yeah, it bounces well, around. You move from the room. room it gets stuck on the door handle. It wouldn't. All right, so I'll do it. Can you see this? You can see all... Mm -hmm. What's that white stuff? Lime that's in the mm -hmm. water? All right, so... You know what? I should have a little... Way oh, well, I'm just going to... My handkerchief is always thoroughly good. thoroughly clean this, but we'll give it a shot. It needs to be thoroughly so cleaner it than it was a few seconds ago, honestly. Yes, and you're good. Peel and stick. <laughs> uh, uh, um, wipe it. Oh, I see. Oh, maybe I'm glad I opened this. You clean the area that is going to be used on, so this is good. Wipe it, peel it, stick it, wrap it. Okay. So... Um, I think it's going to go right here. Or I can't go in here because it's the part you keep taking off to fill with water. All right, now that's nice and clean. And now stick it. Am I doing this in the room? Wipe it, peel it, stick it. All right, and wrap it. Now, does it say how long you have to wait? Leave it for three months. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, let it dry for 10 to 30 minutes before use. You know what? <laughs> we'll see. We'll get an, uh, you know, I won't wrap it tight so we sort of get an idea of what it's going to be like. All right. So the cord's going to come out from the back. And you know what? There's not. A lot of room back there. Yeah, the edge seems really close. Yeah. You no, know, it... oh, the cord goes on. You know what? Does this come off? I thought it might be two pieces. Yeah, like a magnetic or. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's all one. It's all one piece. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm doing it gently because. It's you haven't waited wait any time. Yeah. 10 to 20 minutes or whatever it was. But basically, this gets wrapped around here. So the instructions say after you stick cord wrapper onto the appliance, wait 10 to 20 minutes. It was late at night when we recorded that video. So I waited till the next morning, uh, which is noon. And then I tightly wrapped it <laughs> around the cord wrapper. There's a place to lock the plug in, any one of those notches. So this is going to be a great, easy way to store this humidifier for the summer. And then, depending on the color of your appliance, this is a great way to shorten the cord of an appliance that stays on the counter all the time. Okay, so that's cord wrapper. That's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. I think that's neat. That's, uh... No, at first I thought... This is hard to do, but then once it was stuck on, and you, and you can just wrap the cord around pretty easily. And they are uh, two for fifteen bucks. But if you need multiples, they get uh, cheaper as you go. Oh wow! Yeah, you can get <laughs> a lot of a lot of them. And I like how they're yeah. showing the uh, the Kitchen Aid there. Oh my gosh! Yes, Kitchen. You know, you showed that humidifier, but like. Uh, can openers, the yeah, toasters, fan, putting a fan away, fans. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, I could even see um, like certain electronics, uh, like a tower of the PC or a heater. I mean, these are all absolutely. Reasons. And uh, in the in the copy, it said that the adhesive 
can withstand up to 212 degrees, so you can put it on a toaster or a rice cooker without worrying about it. Oh, that's so, actually pretty great. neat. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. You yeah. put on like a slow cooker type thing? Yeah. That's great. Okay. Cool. Wow. Oh, well, I, found, I found the other spec. Hang on one second. The, the screens on the Asus ZenBook Plus are 2880 by 1800 resolution. Mm. Okay, so it's 3K. 2880 by 1800. I love okay. that when, especially for someone who like edits video, I love seeing the video native. So if I can like pop out a window and then hit native resolution, love that. And you can do that on a monitor that's m more resolution resolution than 1080, which is fantastic. Oh, okay. This, I like this will do it. Yeah. I like it. Um, okay. Now, what time is it, Chad? It's time for... Need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, this week, it's all, this month, it's all about fashion, baby. How do we like this little clutch uh, coming down the runway? Hot fashion ticket here. No, uh, we are talking about home office gadgets. I recorded a video earlier, so let's check it out. We are back at it again with another home office gadget. And today we have the Nelco which kind of reminds me of like a razor blade, honestly. It seems like the Nelco <laughs> razor is uh, what we're gonna be talking about, but this is actually a label maker and it's itty bitty, teeny tiny, and works with an app. And it's also pretty inexpensive, coming in at only 20 bucks. They did a very good job what? of saran wrapping this. So I do have to get it unpackaged and we'll be right back. Okay. Uh, the box is unboxed, so there's a little card, like a quick start wow. guide, and that has a QR code for both Android and iOS apps. I think I downloaded the correct one already to my phone. You get a little uh, instruction booklet, it's pretty good, and then the printer. So it's a pretty small size, honestly, uh, I'm pretty impressed with how itty bitty it is. Uh, you also get a USB-C charger, uh, charging cable in the box too. Pretty standard affair there. So whew, here is the label maker. It has a little handle on one side, button, looks like scissors. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of need to read the instructions a little bit more uh, to understand all of it. So we'll be right back. So now I have a much larger amount of text. You have to, let's see if we can hit this, oh, full screen it. Okay, well maybe that won't work here. Let's uh, work with the text size <coughs> here. Okay, that's looking good. Is there a way to center this? It seems like there should be. I can justify it, but I want it to go into, uh, aha, centered. There we go, now it's centered, so then I can make it a bit bigger if I want. There we go, okay, so that's a pretty good amount. And let's hit print and then print again. Here it comes. And you'll see that the text fit exactly how we wanted it. But the actual size of the label is the same. So you can change all of the stuff inside of the label, the size and dimensions of that. But the, uh, the actual size of the physical labor label can't be changed. The size They're of just all the pre-cut. Things you um, print later. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm okay. having the worst time getting this label off of the back backing of this adhesive. This it feels the labels don't feel super premium. They feel a bit cheap. Like I've used the Dynamo labels or like labels for like a, a Brother XL printer, and those definitely seem a bit more sturdy. Oh my gosh, these are a bit more papery than plastic -y. Holy moly. Barely can get this off. This is like watching paint dry, I'm sure. <gasps> there we go, success, hooray. Okay, so just wanted to show you, this is the same sized label as the one we did below it. So 
Uh, there you go. I think this is so far pretty easy to use. The app in the App Store, the Nelco app, got okay reviews. Uh, it's honestly not the best, uh, around three stars uh, in the App Store. Um, I'm surprised with how easy it was to set it up uh, with this just like quick first look. Um, and so far, so good. So now you can add labels to things for pretty inexpensive and it recharges with USB-C at the bottom. Okie dokie. Yeah. So is that now <clears throat> another job you're holding down, janitorial services? <laughs> janitorial department, yes. It, uh, yeah, wow. Okay. I don't know it's if you saw the address. As it's not as glamorous as you led us to believe. <laughs> That's my, you know, my little side hustle is just oh, okay. the uh, okay. janitorial uh, okay. department. Um, in the app, by the way, there is stuff. Um, there's like options to add time. Um, you can add the date, you can add barcodes, QR codes. Uh, I was able to print out uh, emojis, that sort of stuff. Um, so wow. it's a pretty interesting, it's really just that kind of text um, that you can print only black and white. It's like a thermal printer. Um, but um, I so far liked it a lot, so um, can't, complain let me go ahead and get it uh there we go um on amazon it's only twenty dollars so not expensive no it's at not. all um and it comes in different colors if you want those wow different colors and now you get a roll of tape with it yeah you get one roll of tape now finding another roll of tape it's, it is a bit <laughs> difficult to figure out oh. exactly which roll of tape to buy, um, but uh, they do have this little section on their uh, site, and it's not super cheap, honestly. No, it's, it's like the razor blade thing, where the razor's cheap and the blades are a fortune. Yes, yes. Um, so there are also maybe more of like a knockoff label. It seems like this label maker isn't so like top brand that they would have <laughs> very difficult to find labels. But on the other hand, maybe they are very proprietary. Um, I didn't do a lot of research into that, but uh, 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 so far, $20 label maker. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's good working looking too. Especially yeah. if I had a small project where I kind of knew, you know, a small amount of consistent labels are going to be really, really neat. Um, for 20 bucks and using the phone that I already have, pretty impressive. I like it. I like it a lot. The Nelco label maker, possibly for your home or your office. Um, Excellent. Excellent. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Um, I've moved on too fast. Because uh, Scooter X had a uh, good AliExpress link um, for an option here. Oh, and okay. It's only eight bucks. Wow. Eight. And also, uh, Stephen Toronto wants to know is it thermal? Oh, uh, oh, it is thermal. I think so. Here, let me double check. Yeah, no, it says it right on that. Uh, yeah, that, oh, this one we, is the uh, the. AliExpress one, thermal. Uh, let me just double check with this one. I'm pretty sure it is because uh, there's I, it, inkless is typically oh yeah always and it thermal. So fast yeah yeah um, and although it doesn't say it doesn't say it but I'm pretty sure oh um, there printing technology thermal okay it said it yeah. It, there we go. Printing technology, thermal, thermal label, thermal technology. Perfect. Yeah. Mystery solved. It is thermal. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Thank you for all of that. Okay, uh, with that, 
back to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. What do you got for us, Dickie? Okay, Mo says, Dick and Chad, do you guys know about this? <gasps> dun, dun, dun! So what are you doing? Making dinner. <laughs> but it's like uh, three million degrees in here. You're hot? Yes. That's you know, let me just turn on the fan for you. <laughs> Let me turn on the fan. One, two, three. I just high setting. That is the high setting. Let me wow. just actually turn on the light. Oh. Thank you. It's now a lot cooler in here. <laughs> this is above my kitchen, and I do have. Let me just show you. Turn off the uh, lights. The light settings are also low, medium, and high. That is a fan that we put in. Let me turn that off. And I do have hi hats. Hey guys, love the show. Please keep up the great work. Today I'm bringing you another gadget. This gadget, as you saw, I use in my kitchen. It's actually a light slash fan. I love this. It's plug in. That is so quick, cool. Do not use this according to the instruction on dimmer switches. Consult an electrician if you're having issues and you're not concerned, if you're concerned about the, uh, any kind of electrical dangers, please do that. And the light bulb is, un you can't change it. So once it goes out the light, that's it. And now you'll only have the fan. So I purchased this, I thought it was a great idea. I thought it could actually add uh, some kind of cooling uh, capability. And perfect for and renters. We have yeah. what's called a galley kitchen, one way in, one way out. There is no windows in the kitchen, so it could get a little warm in the kitchen when we are cooking. And what I'm looking to do is actually have the air circulating. I have a fan facing the kitchen at times when we're cooking, and then having a fan above maybe will circulate, or actually, we've, you've been using this for a few days, has been circulating the air within the kitchen, and it's been keeping the kitchen a lot cooler than it normally is or gets. Uh, before, during, and after cooking. So this really helps, this works very well. There are other options, but the other options, I believe, have much smaller fans, not uh, this type of uh, width with the fins and you know, the fan blades. And I think a lot of them do not have remotes. So this is the one I found, and it works very well. Low, medium, high for the fan, low, medium, high for the lights. Uh, and it works very well. Um, I have hi hats, so I use this adapter because this is not long enough. But the uh, Bell Howell fan light, fan light, socket fan cool light or cooling light on Amazon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. <laughs> that is really, I cannot believe that I have not seen that before that I have not, i've not seen it either it it seems brilliant it's the uh, it seems brilliant why why can't i buy this at walmart this is amazing <laughs> in fact we should we should invest somehow because this is going to take america by storm um yeah i love that gadget uh the one question i would have is if you had it plugged in and the switch was on and let's say you had the fan at medium and the light at low if you turn off the switch and you turn it back on does it remember the last setting oh, it was on when it turned off because if so awesome absolutely great that's what i want it to do if not bummer um but yeah that is it, a it's 50 bucks uh, i sent you a link or most sent a link to grab that i'm not sure that's sort of sophisticated isn't it for it to have a memory it is but also it isn't you know it's not oh, okay yeah, that okay. difficult um to uh it's not that difficult to implement like the okay. for example the um uh outside lights that uh we cover the led bright lights they had that feature that they would oh, remember okay. exactly okay. the color that they used to be um right which was which is great the bell howl socket fan light as seen on tv oh my gosh well, well i hadn't go. seen it there you go oh it's a thousand lumens four blades awesome. okay that's awesome 
I'm glad that it's only a thousand lumens because we can make a fan a thousand and two lumens. I'm sure <laughs> we can do it. And we'll just undercut them on lumens yeah, alone. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, this seems like a really, really cool gadget. Yeah. It's and great because you don't have to do any wiring. You don't have to do any wiring at all. We all, I, you know, I've definitely had those rooms that are just a tiny bit stuffy. They just need a little bit of help to make them comfortable. And if it has one of those type of uh, sockets or lights up in, up there, uh, this seems like an absolutely perfect option. Um, it just stinks that not a lot, I can think of a lot of situations where it's not the perfect situation. Either you have, you know, the light that has kind of the socket going off at an angle, or you already have a, a fan, you just don't like it, or any other, you know, myriad of reasons why th this installation wouldn't work. But for when it would work, pff, really cool. This really, is, yeah. really cool. This is good. Thanks for sending that over, Mo. That's great. Thank you, Mo. Thanks for the So we're always looking for more videos, folks. Okay. Uh, that may have been our last video. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever it is, we need more videos. Okay. Uh, make a video one to three minutes, horizontal format. You can be in it if you want. If not, just make sure we see the gadget and hear your voice. And you can, it's, it's anything to do with the gadget, okay? That brand new gadget that Mo bought, a gadget you bought and hated. You can get your venom out in your video. Rant about uh, it. Tell everybody. You rant, yeah, yeah. Rant, sent in a ranting video. And our favorites, technology of the past, when you spent a lot of money on something and you can't throw it out, here's a chance to at least share what you can't throw out because chances are we love old technology that was so exciting when it came out uh put the video up on youtube you can click there's a drop down menu when you upload just click unlisted if you only want people you select to see it send the url to us mail at gizwiz.tv and we're showing 99 percent of everything we get and you get the current issue of Mad Magazine autographed to you. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. With that, let's move on to the letter. Okay, it's two letters with photos. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Did you get the photos? I mean, double check. No, 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 did I get the photos? <laughs> uh, uh, mm, I sent them right, be oh, right before the I did not get the show. photos, but I will work on getting the photos if you, if you can uh, help me. Okay, I, I forwarded the emails. I'm sure you did. Do, 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 do. I think this is my That's fault. It. This is my fault issue that I did not snag those from the email. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pause, and I'll edit this out. Okay. Because... Let's see what... We... Let me just make sure they went. I see them. I see them. Okay. Here we go. Escalator. Uh, uh, uh. One of them has one photo and one of them has three. Three, yes. Okay, just got the three. And where should I start with the photos? Uh, well, well, let's start with uh, Magoo, which is the color of fo the photo with a handwriting underneath it. The Perfect. Screen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then. Uh, and then Escalator. Here. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. So. Okay. Uh, let's just start from the letter and then I'll cut over to the photo whenever you want. 
Okay. Uh, so we have two letters today, both with photos. One is in reference to last week or the week before when Dennis and I went to Five Below and bought lots of peeps. So most <laughs> most sent in. It's, I don't know if she made it, but it's all peeps, <laughs> and it's a representation of a famous picture called The Scream, but Mo has labeled it Myra Joyce at the peep wall. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did Myra do to uh, deserve the peep wall? Well, my, my, Myra just loves snacky things. Oh, yum. She loves it, right. And yum. it's very funny. It's done with... Mostly uh, peep bunnies yeah. and a few peep chicks. It's very clever. I can see done. a few sliced up bunnies here to get a little yes, bit of this exactly. wall here. Exactly. It's very creative. Exactly. But it's very, <laughs> very well done. And then our second email with photos is from Phil from Toronto. Said, Dick, I have some funny signs. Here's one. Escalator is acting as stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's actually good because you see an escalator that's not moving and you think, should I get on it? Is it going to start up any minute? Right. Is it safe? Are they working on this thing? Yeah. So Escal this just says escalator is acting as stairs. <laughs> that's in Hudson's Bay. That's good. Uh, Phil that's is from good. Toronto. Um, then he said, second sign was posted on my local butcher's door. Here's okay. the butcher. And here's a close-up of the sign. It's a butcher shop, and it <laughs> says, drive through is next door. And then you go to the third that picture. That is so funny, because that's the butcher <laughs> shop. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah, the third picture Ugh. is... Ugh. Of the butcher shop with yeah. windows boarded yeah. up. Exactly. So the drive through is next door. A car <laughs> driving right through. <laughs> anyway. <gasps> that is so funny. This is the weirdest drive through I've ever seen, too. It's like in between the building. What is this? Yeah. Well, go back to it because it was the car had gone right through the butcher shop. Did yeah. You notice that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Look oh, you that. think that they missed the driveway? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is this. So they're saying the drive-thru oh, is next door. Over there. This hole, I think, is the drive-thru. It's in the middle of a building, oh, which is a very yes, strange. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. This is like a drive-in and don't drive. It's like don't the entrance to you. a parking garage, but I think it's their drive-thru. I'm pretty sure. I guess. Yeah, it's probably a very small building. That is Not so too deep, funny. And you drive out into the parking lot in the back. That is so funny. Yeah. If you sit on well, the patio, yeah. you might as well take out some health insurance. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> or life insurance. <laughs> yes, life insurance is better. Yeah. Surprise <laughs> with that or life insurance? Uh, yeah. I'll take both. <laughs> we have a combo. Uh, Oof. <clears throat> yeah, Phil, it's like you. uh, you when you're thank at U-Haul you. and they want to ask, oh, do you want chip protection? Would you like yeah. meal protection uh, with your meal? If you spend <laughs> an extra $3 with this meal, you'll be fully insured for the lifetime of the meal. Um, yeah, that is a great uh, set of some, emails. Thanks for fun stuff. sending that over. I want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank y'all so much for your support of our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We enjoy the show so, 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 so much. So Absolutely. We're just really happy that we have a group of people who also love the show and that we get a chance to, uh, to share it with you. So thank y'all so much for making and keeping that uh, happening. So thank you, thank you, thank you to our patrons. Patreon.com slash gizwiz if you want to learn more. You can also head to our website gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab. There's a big old banner that'll take you to Patreon or a tiny little link that'll take you to PayPal if you want to give via PayPal. 
Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. When we are live, the website will just update with the live stream. There will also be a chat room right underneath that player. Uh, when we're not live, it'll be the most recent episode or the most recent live event. Either the most recent live taping of the GizWiz or the GizFizz, which tapes live on Wednesday, um, an hour after, uh, so 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 Eastern, if you want to check that out too. Um, and I encourage that. Uh, so gizwiz.tv is the place to do that. Gizwiz.biz is Dickie D's website, and he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you ever need to know more information about any of the gadgets that we talk about, gizwiz.biz is the place to go. And while you're there, play What the Heck Is It? And this is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. And uh, I hate to uh, spoil it this uh, early, but, um, you know, uh, turkey basters, um, this is actually a quail baster. Uh, two <laughs> pair of quail basters right there. If uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry to give that away. Uh, six Mad Magazines for correct answers. Twelve Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess. And over at Gizwiz dot biz, we don't even know what magazine you're playing for. It hasn't been released yet. So correct. Yeah, keep an eye out. Uh, with that, that about wraps up our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>